Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations and welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you a Echo Park mystery box. That was the $35 deal that was available pre-Black Friday. Um, I know this past um, holiday or past, past Black Friday event, they had a Black Friday deal going on where you can choose your items. Um... And make your own bundles and stuff but I am excited to see what's inside so let's get it opened and check it out so it looks like it has a paper thing in it and I want to position this so you guys can see everything so let's see now this these boxes typically are the $50 ones, but this time they did $35. This is my first full year of doing their mystery boxes, so I'm very new to this, and I believe I've been hearing that um, this is the first time they've ever done a $35 box, so I'm very interested to see what is actually in here. Um, it just shows you some uh, pamphlets of what their current products are available for and to join their Makers Club, so that's neat. And then I see here we have some fall enamel dots, and I got two of the same, which is perfect. I love these colors. You can see those. And then it looks like I have a art print. Now I think the last mystery box I had, it was an 8.5 by 11 size. So this looks like a 5 by 6 or 5 by 7 maybe. So it's super cute, perfect for the holiday season. And then they have another um, petal. I have not made the other one for my other box, but I think my other one is a light pink. So this will be kind of cool whenever I get around to making them, what to do with them. I do see that I also got puffy stickers, the fall collection. Now I do have the sticker pack to this, so I'm very happy that this came in my pack. And I believe it also pairs nicely with the enamel dots so very cool and then it seems like I got chipboard accents called arsenic and lace I'm assuming it is a Halloween version super super cool I love that whole vintage vibe thing going so love that then I have some washi tape this is Merry Christmas love adding to my collection hopefully I will be starting to use these more often and then let's see here I have a six by six paper pad of fashionista this is kind of cute it can either be for a teen or a preteen shopping with your mom or your sister your grandma oh my god this is so cute love the colors in here this one's pretty. And then you have a banner strips. Just going really quick through them. Ah. So I want to say it doubles like all the other ones do. Yeah. But I didn't see any cutter parts in this one, which is fine. No biggie. I'm sure I can find some stuff to utilize that. And then let's see, we have, I think these are assorted, yeah, assorted solid um, 12 by 12, 18 double-sided paper. So that's kind of nice. Um, I know usually they do collections, but it's nice to get an assorted and an well, assorted paper colors because that way you can pair them with your paper collections so let's see we have like a, a nice summer all right so they have the names at the bottom summer bliss but what i like is that on the edges they have like this vintage distressed look and it looks like we get two of each so one side is a turquoise color well it says here yellow and blue but to me it looks turquoise, so, but that's the side. And then this one, this, uh, I 
want to say it looks like a uh, sea blue or a beach blue. Um, it's from Fine and Dandy. And the other one, it says blue and teal. So I guess this would be the teal side. Look how weird that looks. So this one says it's blue, but it looks green compared to the teal. I don't know if you can tell that. It's so crazy how colors can look one way when they're by themselves and then look a different way when they're paired with something else. I don't know if any of you have the same same dilemma. Um, this one is from Jack and Jill. And so you have gray and orange. And I do believe it's what the color says. And what's nice here on the bottom is that you do have um, a strip. I don't know if people call them banner strips or zip strips or what they are, but I like keeping these. I actually have a 12 by 12 binder that I keep all of them in because you never know when you can use those extra pieces to um, fill that little thing you're missing on your page. Um, Hopefully one day I will organize my office and my craft room and you guys can take a look at it because, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Anyways, um, this one is another Jack and Joe and it is called Red and Pink. And this is like perfect for Valentine's. Um, or if you wanted to just use this alone for the holiday season, for Christmas. Um, but these colors are so cute together. Then we have another one that is Pirate's Life. And this one has one as a royal blue. And I want to say teal, but it says here that it's light blue. And then again, <laughs> this one says blue. And then this one has teal so so i i know i sound redundant but here we go this one says teal this one says blue and this one says light blue explain that to me like is it my color and my eyes off or is it just the pigmentation on the paper anyways either way as you can see when someone says blue it can be a different shade altogether so it's very nice that i think having an array of blue tones in this kit that they gave you, um, you can play so nicely with any of the collections that you have. I mean, because even if you go back to the Fashionista, some of these, um, let's look at this one. Now, I know I'm going off script for a moment, but look how pretty that looks. Like that pairs so nicely. So I really like how when they're creating these boxes, they do put thought in mind. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it's not like it's random even though it feels random, if that makes sense. So this one here is, back on track, is made from scratch, and they call it yellow and teal. And so that is a really nice mustard yellow, I feel. And a, it looks more green than blue, but we'll go with it. And this one here is from getaway oh that's a pretty green light blue and green and this looks like an olive green to me would actually pair very nicely with the red that we saw earlier look how pretty that is you know it would go really nice with some of the Christmas collections and then here we have a Jack and Jill again and this one says teal and yellow. I wonder if this is the same as the other one. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it later. And then we have the last one, another Jack and Jill. And this seems to be red and blue. So the other one was red and pink. Yeah, red and pink, and this is red and blue. So, you know, sometimes when you create your pages, you can always do, like, a peel back like this. So depending on what kind of colors you're going for, what effect you're using, or how you're utilizing your papers, if they're in a loose um, 6x8 album, or if you're putting them in a 12x12 sheet protector, you always want to take that into consideration because you want your pages 
to reflect what you're crafting but at the same time you don't want so much bulk that your book or album won't close or the effect you're going for doesn't really show up when you put it in the object that you're intended to use it for i know it is very frustrating for me <laughs> when i i do all the work and then all of a sudden i'm like oh well can't use it now because it doesn't work so um the next one i do have is a collection it seems like i have four collections in here which is kind of nice so this one's called celebrate christmas i have never seen this one before and i love all of these colors super super cute look at this reindeer so what's nice about these collection kits is that it tells you exactly what you're receiving. You're getting 12 by 12 double-sided papers. You're actually getting a 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. So that is very nice. And then within those 12 double-sided papers, some of them do have these cut aparts here. And it's nice because they're different sizes. So this one in particular has um, banner strips along with, um, I believe that's 4 by 6 and then 3 by 4s. So that way, depending on the size of the album you are working with, helps you determine what, um, what options you can use. So these are your stickers. What I like is how some are small, and so you can utilize them on your smaller scale op options, whether you're making cards with them, and not just albums or maybe a flip book. Or a card folio so I'll go really quick through these so you're not gonna find two of anything I don't believe yeah so these are all one of each so I know I say this all the time in my videos but um, you always have to figure out which side you're gonna sacrifice because if you like one side you can't have another I think that's why a lot of us hoard uh, multiple sets of things because <laughs> we don't want to use them all up or we don't want to make the decision. I know at least that's what I do when I go to conferences um, for scrapbooking events when they have those sheets, you know, buy what, 25 or $10 or something like that. Um, you buy multiples because it's so affordable at that type of discounted rate. I'm sure I'm giving a different price, but anyways, you get the point. Um, so here are the options. These are super cute. You can actually just use... A regular A2 card, I'm pretty sure. Maybe trim this down a tiny bit and then put this on the front with a sentiment and there you go. You got a cute Christmas card you can send to someone. So it's very nice when you have these collections on hand, when you need something quick and fast or quick and easy. Love these little journaling bits. Ooh, this candy cane one is super cute. Oh, look, it has an option if you wanted to do a December daily. I believe that's what it's called. I have some um, virtual retreats I'm attending this holiday season from new places and I'm really excited. I'm actually going to show you a haul video of my upcoming retreat that I'm excited for just to show you what I'll be working on. So these papers are so, so pretty and I love the thickness of them because that way when you're putting them on your cardstock, oh my god. I want this in wrapping paper. Look how pretty that is. I'm so sorry. I'm just like really excited about this, mainly because I was waiting for it to come in, and when it came in, I wanted to share it with you guys. These holly leaves are so pretty, or ponciera. And then here we have black and white, and then we have Santa Claus on the other side. Love it. So this again was the Celebrate Christmas. Um, I was hoping that I got this box before the end of the Echo Park um, event so that way I can know if I can get any, any um, what is it called, companion options that they had on the site, but I'm not sure that it's going on yet. I think it was over yesterday, so I will check on that, but I'll know for the next time they have a sale. So this one here is Flower Market, and again, it has the same options. Um, you have a sticker sheet, you have some cut aparts. Now these cut aparts are smaller. Not every collection kit has the same concept in size and dimension. So they have the same concept in regards to what they offer, but not the same structure and layout. 
which I kind of like because it gives you diversity. And that way you play with it. And so these are so fun. This makes me want to just go to a farmer's market and just take pictures of everything going on and then scrapbooking it or journaling it. Love it. This is a nice blush pink. All right, so this one has two of the same. So that's different. Wait. Why would that be? It does not say. Okay, so... I want to say it's because this one is a collection kit and the- no, they're both collection kits. One day I'm going to understand how this process works. Yeah, they're both collection kits. So as you just saw, this one has two of the same sheets. So I don't have to worry about sacrificing my paper which I really, really love. So look at that. I don't have to sacrifice. I'm so happy. So you actually can get two books out of these if you really wanted to. Love this. Look at this wood grain. Oh my God, this is so cute. If you have your hole puncher, and then you can just punch these out and use them on a, on a sheet and lay them out. So look at that. And then again, the banner strips are at the bottom. It kind of matches one of the sides, one of the front or back. Okay, so when we got to the front, even though we went backwards, here is the front, which gave me the cutter parts. Here are the cutter parts, which only gave me one of these. So here is where we're going to know, no matter what, I can only have one of these or I can have two sets of the cutter parts. So these will be perfect for like a Mother's Day card or just thinking about you or something like that because it's so generic, but the colors are so pastel -y, if that's a word. All right, so here we got a transatlantic travel. This is super cute. I love this. Do you like to travel often, even though this kind of gives me a manly feel that doesn't deter me from wanting to use it because it also gives me a vintage feel, which I really, really like. So here again, we have the stickers. Look at that postcard look in the train. Love this. And then here, let's see if we have, oh, we do. So I wonder if it's just not Christmas related, do we get these options? Curious. If you know the answer, please, please, please make a comment below because I would love to learn. Please teach me. Um, so here we have, um, it looks like a, a page from either the newspaper article. I love those kind of things. I feel like just making a rip and then putting pictures and then building off of that. I don't know why that gives me that feel, but I really like the fact that I have two options here. Um, I don't have to use just one of them. Oh my God, I love this. I really, really love this. I'm gonna have to figure out what folio I wanna make this out of. My wheels are turning, guys. This is so, so pretty. I love all these words. You can definitely make this out of a tag and then embellish around it. I really think that this is a good base for a tag. And then look at these compass, these compasses, and then the map. So pretty. I just love the color scheme and the feel of the collection because it gives me that old time vibe. So that one was the Traveler's one. And then the last collection I have is I'd Rather Be Crafty. Now I did a um, virtual retreat or a virtual class, I believe, with Mail by Mail. And I did the crafting one, I believe, from Simple Stories that she had on her site. And it was very 
different because I would never think of scrapping crafts related albums. I don't know if I'm making sense there, but it's a it was a crafting kit from Simple Stories. I forgot the name of it. Um and when I created it, I'm like my whole intent was to go through all my past pictures and scrapbook all the times we went to the scrap the stamp and scrap expo here in Orlando, Florida. And obviously I have to go and do that. But it was really fun because you don't really stop and think that you as a crafter can craft your craft. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, you know, when I see this now in my in my um, mystery box, I'm glad I got it because I really did enjoy that class and I really did enjoy realizing that, you know, you don't have to go to a scrapbook expo or anything like that. But if you do visit retreats or hang out with your friends or even your own family and you do crafting events, make sure you take pictures. We always, I, at least I do, I sometimes forget to do that because I'm in the moment. But then you think about it afterwards and you're like, man, I wish I took a picture of the mess on my table because it just shows how much fun you're actually having. So I am going to try to do more of that in 2023 because I feel like after the, the pandemic, your life kind of gets like a hermit and you forget to do those kind of things because you've been not isolated, but confined in some way that you're not out doing things. So that is definitely my goal. Um, and I also want to share it with you guys. Um, so here is the I Rather Be Crafting kit. And here are some cut aparts. You can see them. I love how this one has a definition. Oh, cork board. Cool. Okay, so that's what would have been on the other side of this one. Good to know. And then we have one that's here of a cork board. And then here we have the um, it's not measure measuring tape, different colors. So if you're a sewer, super cool. We have flowers with this nice thick uh, oxagon or a star pattern. I guess it depends on where your eye is focusing. Um, but really nice colors. That are included and then this one here I love these polka dots so fun eat sleep love craft repeat I think I need to make a shirt like that so fun get these scissors and then on the other side looks like graph paper and pink to me And then here we have the 4x6 cut apart. Who doesn't want to make pretty things? I love that. And if you're not a sewer, just so you know, you could definitely cover that with a sticker, an embellishment, a picture, or you just, you know, crop it down. You don't really have to utilize everything that's on there if that's not your craft. And that's kind of like what I love about this whole concept. That you can make it your own. Like they have the glue, glue tape. These are individual, so you don't have to use the whole word or you can spell it out. Love these stickers. All right, guys. Well, that completes my mystery box from Echo Park. I hope you loved what I got. And I hope if you got yourself one, I hope you loved what you received. And if they have mystery boxes again, I will definitely let you guys know. Like I have the last couple times when I find out about them. Um, I sometimes don't always get notified the minute they come out. But I will let you know. And if, like always, um, thank you again for watching. And if you like the content, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification. So you can be informed of when I post more videos so I will let you go and I hope you have a great rest of your day no matter what time you're watching and take care have a good one